Death fog barrels have been locked down and stored. Stay out, you and Rick's both. If anyone starts fooling around down there, it'll be lights out. That doesn't sound good. Uh, oh, who's this bro? Who are you? It's Fane! This is the undead bro. You pass through the door and are suddenly face to face with an undead. His skull is bizarrely angular and a glorious jewel sits in the middle of his forehead. The skeleton is quickly leafing through a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia, muttering to himself. Hey, what's up, Sarcastic Jay? Good to see you, buddy. No, no, no. What damn fools record knowledge on a pulped tree? In a book? It catches fire. It turns into must when wet. It cannot even resist acid. No wonder they're so bloody ignorant. The skeleton looks up and notices you for the first time. Oh, it's you. Shouldn't you be running and screaming or some such? There's something familiar about the way he holds that book. The skeleton groans and looks back to his book, frantically flipping from page to page. Yes, indeed. It's the look of someone that wants to read the bloody book he's holding. Now, if you're really quite finished, I believe you have lifeboats to flee to. That's it, the elf! He's the elf that was reading the book. Please, I was no more an elf than you are those rags you're wearing. I had a mask, rather ingeniously designed, which allowed me to take that primitive form. A mask that was stolen by that damned witch after her little scene. Still, she'll drown with the rest of these fools, and I will simply pluck my mask from her cold, dead hands. Nod. That seems quite sensible. Indeed. Just as sensible as getting off a sinking ship and leaving a fellow to his business. I would say good day, but it seems quite likely that you're about to die a rather terrible death, so... The skeleton shrugs casually and returns to his book. I am loving this so much. That is so awesome. What a chill undead bro. Okay, uh, is there any... Yeah, I think there's some stuff up here we can get. Let's look in here. God damn it! We need to get off this wreck, and quick! But there's stuff to get. Oh, there's the skull door. Great God, something's pounding on the hull! Something's pounding on the hull? That's probably less than great. Oh, bottle of beer. Okay, so we could go... I'm going to save it. Does this work? Oh, not only does that work, but that puts us... Oh my god, that looked awesome. Okay, that puts us in a fight, so we're going to wait on that. We're going to go over here, and I think this is the skull door that we got the key for. So let's see what's in here first. The marking on the door was painted recently, judging from its pungent scent. You don't recognize the symbol, but it's clearly warning you away. Oh, this is the death you fog room. You press your palm against the door to open it. The wood feels neither cold nor warm, but simply gray. The color drains from your hand, and you are left numb. It doesn't budge. The door groans open, but an ashen shadow clouds your mind. Oh. One of the cabins seems to have become infested with tentacles and some sort of lethal fog. We should keep our distance. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Grant's skill all in. Oh, that's how I got the shield up skill. Interesting. So weapons grant skills. Hmm. Okay. Death fog. I need to get out of here now. I kind of really want to get that corpse save. Well, of course we have to run into here for science. I mean, 
Y'all know me good enough to know that. Dude, look at the graphics on that. That's trippy as hell. That's weird. All right, here we go. Instant death. That didn't count as a death, by the way. Mods. Um, but wow. Okay, that's like lava in the original. That's, uh, that's instant. Instant death. Let's grab that cracked sword. Oh, it's a one hand. Beautiful. I think that means it's probably better than what we had. How are we supposed to get in there? Oh, it goes all the way down. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh. They're exactly the same, except that one isn't quite as broken. All right, let's head up. So when you mouse over, it said instant death. Yeah, but I mean, come on. That's like your mom telling you that the pot's hot, don't touch it. You know what I mean? Okay. okay. Okay, I'm gonna wait and let them come to us. I don't know what these vicious voidlings are, but yeah, they're you come to us. Oh damn, you actually hurt. Hey, okay, he got poisoned. Great. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get both of them. We can. Good. Both knocked down. Beautiful. Uh, let's attack you. Twice. See if we can take this one out. Uh oh. Not quite. Oh, good. He died from poison. Perfect. Alright, let's armor up. And knock him down. more armor. Didn't even break our armor. Perfect. Oh, shit. Uh, dang it. Okay. We got a bunch of food, so we can heal up pretty easily. We just gotta beat it. We should survive next round. <laughs> Not close at all. Oh, we could have gotten a fireball skill. That would have been good. That would have been real good. No, don't cast it. Oh, I can't move it? There we go. Alright, can we use our bedroll? Aha! Beautiful! I'm loving this bedroll mechanic. This is cool. Okay, uh, anything back here? This will take us back down. We can't do anything with this. Let's move over down the boat. Let's move to the box. Sorry, buddy. Okay, anything down here we want? Some rope? A, a box? Uh, okay. Um, before we go up there, let's look over on this side. Ugh, look at these tentacles, man. Oh, there's a lifeboat. Cool. Not taking it. Turn that light off, because, you know, we don't want to waste resources. Grab the bucket. Anything up here? Cool. 
Um, oh, dude, someone left this light on, too. God, these guys are just... What would I want to do down here? Can I, like, save these people? The Magister lies on the floor. I don't think so. Wait! Void Woken! Wait, what happened? Uh... Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I have a feeling that we may want to talk to the lifeboat people first, and then we can go back and save them. But also, before we move past this part, I want to see if we can go up here. Oh no, there's a lot of fire. Well, we can maybe clear it out. Science, man, it's a thing. Okay. Oh, it didn't clear this? Uh, well, I'm gonna save it and try to loot this. Nice. Anything else up here? Ooh, a wand. New recipe, too. If we were a caster, that would be a great find. Is there anything else in here we want? Nope, I think we're good. All right. Let's go save it in front of the lifeboats, guys. Uh, guys, talk to them, and then maybe go and rescue the dudes in the bottom. I'm not leaving without fighting that dude in the bottom. Alright, let's see what they got. Children and dwarfs first, just like the old stories say. The dwarf yanks at one of the nearby ropes to no avail. They said there were other people down there. We we need to help them. You see those tentacles, kid? It's time for getting the hell out of here. Call the dwarf a yellow-bellied coward. You'll return to the lower decks and check for survivors. Ship trembles beneath your feet, but the kid's right. Say you'll go back to the lower deck and look for survivors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's a ladder right over there. You're gonna be the death of us, you hear? Great. Okay, that was clearly what I wanted to do. Let's go get him. Um. Oh, sure. Thank you, Barry. Okay, let me move over my camera real quick. There we go. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better when I talk to people here. Let's take a quick look. Perfect. Thanks, mods. You guys are the best. There's a bunch near me. Um, provides eight physical armor, while this one restores physical armor. So if I were to use this right now, it wouldn't do anything. That's good to know. Uh, let's knock you down. And I think we're actually going to go after him, too. We'll start moving that way. Damn, that only took one AP? Damn girl, look at you go. Hopefully my buddies are gonna come I help me. Was. Elemental arrowheads on the ground. Wait, what? They what is all this stuff they're casting? Trials. I love how it shows in the middle of the screen who's casting what. That is awesome. That is a great new change. Oh, that's his racial! Hmm. Let the games begin. 
This is great. It's showing us like all the different abilities we can do. Damn, dude. Backstab critical. Ooh. Damn, girl. Assassins look strong as hell. Awesome. That's his racial too. These guys are kicking ass, man. I can already tell this game is going to be so much fun. It already is so much fun. <laughs> Mr. Any Person says one thing I don't understand is why mods just purge messages but don't ban weak minded commentators like, and then he names a person. Here's the deal, dude. We have a lot of rules in this channel, but we really are a good vibes channel that we try, and, and I tell my mods this. I tell them to ban and time out the fewest amount of people possible. We like to give people chances. We like to think people are joking and not being serious. We like to think that people will notice being purged and then go, maybe I shouldn't do that again. We do our best, both me and my mod team, to give you guys as much freedom as possible while holding to our rules. Also, as a reminder, we have a lot of bots that do auto purging. So keep that in mind as well. But yeah, um, that's kind of how it works a little bit. You know what? I'm not even going to go over there. Although, I don't know if I don't get experience if I don't. Can I do anything from here? Cool! Beautiful. Uh, fuzzles, yes. That's actually one thing that will get you... Yeah, there, there are a few lines that we don't deal with. Like racism, homophobia... People that are just ridiculously rude to other people. Like there, there are definitely lines that we don't cross. Yeah, but again, we like we're we're the type of people that generally think humans are decent, good folk. So we try to give as many chances as we can while you know holding to our happy, helpful, respectful manner. All right, I think we're good down here. There wasn't really anything down here that we needed to do that we hadn't done already. So yeah, we're good. Let's just loot these guys, and then we'll keep going. Oh, let's get this guy. Raw, lumpy giblets. Oh, the dog! Guys, thank you. Let's go see if we can save that dog. Great call. What is this? Wait, why can I pick this up and it's not showing up with alt? A leather ball? What? A potentially deadly weapons in the hands of a child. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, let's head upstairs and real quick see if we can we can bring that dog with us. I really hope we can. Can I pick him up? I don't think we can take him with us, unfortunately. That's too bad. Oh well. Let's go over here. Can I use the ball? Uh, I can, but... I think I can. People are saying, use the ball and the dog! I don't think that's how it works, guys. I, I don't think he's gonna magically start following me to the boat and then jump in and... That's how it works, unfortunately. I wish that's how it worked, but I don't think that's how it works. Okay, uh, let's go. Oh, we've already talked to the undead. I he I don't think wants to come. I have a feeling that Fane is just going to be like, "Nah, I'm good. Go ahead, you're you you do your thing. I'll do mine. We're good." Let's see. You mind? I'm really rather busy. <laughs> Ship is sinking. He's busy with a book. Kind of wish I played him now, to be honest. He seems like kind of a kind of a cool cat. Uh, okay, let's go. Time to go. Four hundred XP. Oh, 
Oh no! Am I on the boat? Dude, look at that thing! Oh no no, we we went to we went to the Magister woman. Yeah, we couldn't do anything with the Magister woman. Hold on. Let's let this finish real quick and then we'll we'll make sure that we can't do anything with the Magister woman. We lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the void Oh, people are saying you can save the woman. Okay, we'll check it out. Dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. High Judge Oriven. Hmm. I'm gonna let these uh, cinematics finish. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go back real quick and we're gonna see about saving that girl. Oh, I talked to her. Wait, what? Load. No, 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 I quick saved right before. Oh, bummer. Do we have to do that fight again? I guess we do. That's fine, whatever. Let's see if we can save her first. The Magister lies on the floor, unconscious and bleeding from a... Okay, maybe I have to save them first? Um... Okay, let's get- let's take care of these guys. Pretty much the same way we did last time. After the fight, we can talk to her. Okay. Thanks, chat. Go ahead and get this up. I thought Void Woken was supposed to be Set the gas on the second deck on fire. Uh, I don't think that I don't think Death Rock gas is ignitable. At least I don't think so. Water arrows. Oh, they're all allies. Oh, cool. Okay. I guess it did say ally turn, didn't it? Huh. Let the games begin. Retro sum. They all just got up. Yeah. Did you just set the dwarf on fire? That was rude. Damn. What a jerk. She never went, did she? Man, they got all the healing tricks. Uh, Silver Nightwing, my character build is mainly going to be a tank. We're going to be a shield and one hand specialist tank. You're not going to help me right here? Thanks, jerk face. <laughs> this poor dwarf, man. Super rude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great. He's like just casually on fire over there. Away. The sea's hungry. We don't have much time. Okay, so they're all running. Let's head above the access. Okay, we got all this stuff. Let's get him. 
Nothing on him. Cool. No problem. All right, let's save it. Let's rest. And now, hopefully, we can go and do something with this chick. I do feel kind of bad just leaving. Oh. It's, it's she tries to speak. But can only gape as she clutches her Look neck, around. trying to stem the bleeding of a gushing wound. Ooh. Look around for somebody to help her. With jagged movements, she raises her clenched fist and holds out a length of cloth, soaked with some kind of strong smelling. See, Chad, this is why I love you. Thank you so much for this. Take the cloth and hold it tight around the wound to try to stem the bleeding. Blood quickly soaks through the cloth. Magister Siwan's mouth opens and closes, her eyes wide in terror. Unravel the red, the blood red cloth and wrap it snugly around her neck like a tourniquet. Blood pours out from around the bandage. Magister Siwan reaches out to you, her hand flailing. Hold the cloth tighter around the wound. It's working. The pressure is stemming the flow of blood. Siwan clutches your arm, her eyes locked with yours. Something within the ship snaps. The floorboards shudder. Continue holding the cloth to the wound. Take Siwan's hand and try to help her stand. Siwan struggles to her feet, clinging to you tightly. The ship lets out a deep groan, then cracks. Oh shit! She tries to speak, but can only get Wait, what? She clutches her neck with jagged blood. It's working. Something within the sea went struck. Okay, so we got her. We got her. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We did we did get her, right? No no, chat wasn't wrong. Chat was dead right, actually. I have plans for you, child. Rise. Holy shit, we had a that was different. What? Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escape. Looks like tonight has turned into a uh... their mm. vile magic lured the void woken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Okay, so one thing I'm a little bit confused about here, and you know what? You guys are gonna have to put up with me here. Oh, it was the same? Yeah, I didn't make it to the boat that time. Okay, okay. Drink on every reload? That's a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna try something real quick, and this is just because I wanna see if I can, um, if I'm understanding this properly. We're gonna do exactly what we did, but this time I'm not gonna talk to her again. I'm just gonna wait. And hopefully, I just wanna make absolutely sure I didn't bug something by talking to her twice. Here we go. For the record, chat, for anyone that's gonna be here for this basically 100%, keep in mind you'll probably see a lot of this testing kind of stuff. Look around for a way to help her. Take the cloth. Hold the cloth tighter. It's working. Okay. C1 cut something within the ship. Snap. Yes. The floor. Continue holding the cloth to the wound. Take C1's hand and try to help her stand. C1 struggles to her feet, clinging to you tightly. Okay, here we go. Lets out a deep groan. Then. So she is on her feet, clinging you tightly. End. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. Yeah, we got 400 XP. We did. We did. What's up, Sir Lancelot? Honorable Dallas. There we go. General Cross 2, thank you for the $20 tip, buddy. I really appreciate it. First time I resisted the knockdown? Is that what it was? That would have been pretty hilarious if so. Ah, oh, we're back on a beach. It's like divinity again. Those void can make short bloody work. Reaper's of this shit. eye achievement? Am I oh. the lone survivor? Dude, I look think up. someone, yes. something, wanted me alive. Oh my lord, man. 
Ooh. We doing it live now, guys. You've discovered a waypoint. Fleeing combat will bring you to the nearest waypoint. You can also quickly travel between waypoints. First, get all of the things. Every single thing there is to get. Get it. Right now. Immediately. There are enemies 